Hey, and welcome to a demonstration of how to use QuickAd to create a simple XCollidraw macro. And this time, and I promise this is the last time, I'm again going to use the closed line method as my example. And I won't go into what the closed line method is. Please watch my other video on the subject. I'm going to concentrate on the automation uh, in this case. And so the difference between QuickAd and Templator is that QuickAd allows you to run the scripts when the XCollid raw view is active. And this creates the opportunity to uh, create macros uh, that run on the XCollid raw view. So what I want to do uh, in today's video is to have my drawing open, have a keyboard combination to add a card to this drawing and that automation should prompt me for the title of the card and once I provide the title it should add that heading into my card details file with the relevant format and add the link to my card to the card details and this way I can concentrate on the drawing, on my brainstorming as I'm thinking through uh, the uh, problem or story that I want to put on the clothesline and in the background I can have my details file created. So I did some preparation and I created um, two scripts for this demonstration. Uh, one is the step one and the step two and what we're going to be doing and let me just first go there uh, We're going to configure a macro in quick add and so if I open up quick ads Setting dialog we're going to first go to manage macros and I will create a new macro and I'm going to call this close line uh, add card and I'm going to add this macro and once I've added this macro I'm going to go and configure this macro. This macro is going to do three things. First it's going to run step one and what I do in step one as you will see in a moment is I bring up an input prompt and I ask the user myself to enter the title for the card. And I also generate the name of the card details file. Then we are going to create a capture operation. And the capture operation is when you put some data into a specified file. And after we've placed our title line into our capture file, I'm going to run my step two of the closed line script which is going to uh, add the drawing to the screen. And so let's, before we look at uh, the capture operation and look at uh, these, let's just look at what's in the script so you can understand uh, what this is about. So if I come here and I open up my uh, step one script, uh, you can see the script, this is the format of the quick add uh, scripts is you need to uh, do this module exports construct and by the way if you follow the link on the quick add community plugin page there's a very good one hour video by Christian where he explains uh, how you can uh, do uh, all sorts of automations with quick add so if you want to dive deeper I highly recommend watching that. But what we do here is we create this module and what I do in the module is I bring in the input prompt from this is a quick add feature and I execute the input prompt. I request uh, the title for the new card from the user and I place that title into a variable called card title which if I store a variable like this, then in, my, in the execution of my macro, I can use this in the later steps as well. And then 
I pick up the file path of my active view. So I use the Obsidian API to access the active leaf and the view, the file, open in the view and the path. I'm not doing any error handling here to double check that I have an Xcolid raw view open. So if you have a view open that is not an Xcolid raw view, of course the script is going to fail, but um, I think for, for the general purpose, this is good enough like this. And what I do with this path, the file path, is I look for the extension, the file extension, which is after the last dot in my file path. And uh, then uh, I simply uh, create the card file path. So this is going to be my card details file. And what I do is I take the path without the extension and I add card details to this. So this should create a file path to a file that's named the same as my drawing, but uh, with card details written after that. So this is uh, module one. And again, just to recap, what I get out of step one here is the card title variable and the card file path variable. And then if we move on to uh, step two, this is very similar or it is almost the same script as I demonstrated to you in uh, the previous video about the closed line method. Again, I'm not going to go into details here. Uh, you can watch that to understand a bit more about uh, this logic. Um, at the high level, just running through here is I first initialize my Xcolidraw automate component. This is a change compared to the previous script because I'm now using the active view. In the previous, this was the first view because I couldn't execute the script on the uh, Xcolidraw view. This will take the currently active view and uh, use that in the automation. Then I create my card uh, and if an element is selected, then I'm going to position the card relative to that element so I can hang a card below another card. Then I create my colorful clip at the top and I choose randomly one of these colors for that. And then I add the message to the card. So you can see that I take the card title from my card title variable and uh, I position that at the center of the card. And then I add the link to the details. So this is that link in the bottom right of the card. And you can see that I take the card file path uh, variable and uh, I use again an Obsidian API uh, function here to from the metadata cache get the file to link text. This is going to give me either a full or a relative link depending on my user settings. So this is going to give a link to the uh, card uh, details file. And finally, I group all of these items uh, into a group so I can move them together if I click on them and I add this uh, element to the view. So now if we come to our a quick add configuration. Uh, I come to my macro and I configure this macro. Uh, this one I explained. This one we need to add our custom script here. So this is going to be add a line to card details file. So that's going to be the title. The way you change the title is not first into it. If you need to click on it and then uh, the added box comes up. And so what I want to do is I want to capture to this file and we are going to just use uh, this uh, value and this was the card file path. You have this command value and after value. So this is between two curly brackets. You can add the variable you want to use. So I'm, I want to add something to 
the card the file that's under the card file path if this file file doesn't exist i want to create it i don't want to use a template for it uh, and actually all i want to do is i want to um, capture the following text so this is going to be a hash mark because this is a header row and again i want to capture the value uh, card title so that's all i want to do in this uh, step and now if i close this pretty much my macro is ready all i need to do is i need to add a macro uh, not a macro but uh, i need to add uh, no indeed i need to add a macro uh, that i can run so this is going to be my clothesline macro and the clothesline macro all i can do is i can choose which macro i want to run because i only have a single macro at the moment therefore uh, automatically the the macro i defined shows up here and is selected and if i choose this icon here then i can add this as a command to the command palette so i'm going to press that and then oops i'm going to come to hotkeys and i'm going to uh, choose my quick add clothesline uh, macro and i'm going to assign a hotkey in this case i'm going to assign control one uh, to my macro and so let's see how this uh, script works in practice i'm going to open my demo file i'm going to point here on uh, my drawing and i'm going to press control one and i get the title of my card so this is a demonstration and this is the title of my card and voila this is a demonstration is created and you can see also that the demo card details file was created uh, and you can i can even go ahead and open this file if i control click here then i can see the file right here on the right hand side now if i continue on i can also select my card and then click control one again and this is my second card let's say uh, that's going to my second title and you see that this card was added below the other one because i had a card selected and then i can go on and this is my third card and i can press enter and there's my third card which i can position and so there are two issues with our script so let's uh, let's clean that up uh, i'm going to so the two issues is i would prefer that there's an empty line after each of these it would just look neater and easier to edit and also i would prefer that the headings are added in a reverse order i uh, the as i add items i want to add them to the bottom so if i come back to my quick add settings and i come here to manage macros i click on configure i click on add line to capture uh, details file and i configure this if i come here i need to do two things first of all i need to uh, click and enter after this so i have an empty line and secondly i want to no i want to click this option to write to bottom of the file and so now if we check out what's going to happen and let me just uh, delete my cards so this is of course not automated to delete the cards but if i now come and add my this is my card my card to the sheet then of, so the first one is not a big challenge because yeah where would you expect it it's only only the first one but the second one uh, this is the second card it will appear right under the first one and i have my spaces in between from the previous i had some empty lines there so that's 
OK. And then if I add some details here, then as you remember, these details are going to appear here if I uh, control hover over the link button. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm still uh, going to create one more video about macros uh, just to show you how to do the crazy type presentation. It's a slightly more uh, complicated uh, demonstration. You can see that here. I already have a couple of scripts for that as well. I'm going to include in the links to this video uh, the two scripts so you can easily uh, recreate this for yourself as well as I'm going to include the link to the closed line uh, empty uh, template file if you want to use it. So thank you for watching and uh, until next time. Thank you.